So for your consideration today, we have Blue Meanie by Richard Z. Dem Carson, who I'm actually not too sure outside of the game, the fact that he was working on Thief 2 at the time. Um, I'm not really sure what other maps he was well known for, so yeah, just get that out there. Anyway, yeah, this is an interesting map. As you're going to notice right away, you actually start with not only the barnacle, but the long jump. Um, and you'll see why, because this is a very, very interesting map in terms of, like, you know, build. Not only do you got your jump pads, but you got enough of these, like, you know, um, zen material, if you want to call it that, to be able to, like, you know, fling yourself and fly around the stage relatively fast. On the side, uh, there's so, there's two areas that look quite like this, next to each other, that make up the vast majority of the map, and they got unique items on each of them. I'll show off a little bit. You got the... Sniper over there, as you saw, here's the entranceway to the other area. If I go down here, connecting the areas, you got the machine gun. I forget the name of it because I'm an idiot. Um, I'm back where I started. Don't ever, again, don't ever play any of these maps with realistic fall damage on. Like, sure, this has got water, but why the hell would you want to play a map where you get flinging around, you know, trying to perform, like, you know, giant, like, you know, massive, like, you know, leaps of, like, faith and, like, landing onto things. Why would you want to have fall damage on for that? There's no fun to be had there. You got... You know, I actually have, since I last played, uh, what was it, um, Disposal. Um, I actually have played through the single player of Half-Life, uh, Opposing Force, and I still can't tell you the names of half of these things. Oh well, that's how it goes. So let's check out the other area. Uh, on this side, though, there is a little entranceway, which I'll show you where this leads to in a second. If you go this way, though, you get some snarks. Which, you know, are always good fun, I suppose. On this connector area, you got some grenades. That's back where the uh, green dude of death was. On this side... One of the sides over here has got the glue on gun, yeah, right there. And you also got the uh, Magnum that I also don't know the name of. I swear I used to know the names of all these guns. I know, really shocking that I don't know the name of something important in a game. Now, if you do it the smart way and just do that, because apparently I can't jump with the crap tonight... Um, both these areas have, like, little upper, like, you know, flat tops of these things. I also got some weapons, like, you got the shotgun up here. Um, there's not, you can't directly get to these, as far as I'm aware, from the, like, the little enclaves and stuff. You have to use the bouncers or, like, you know, use the barnacle to get up. But, yeah, there, there are some nice things. I think this is just a spawn point here on that one, too. Or just a way to get down. You got another little connector here. You got a lift, which is always good fun. I forgot this one was slightly higher than the other one. I thought they were the same height. Now, you're going to notice right away that there's also some other areas off to the side here, which I'll get to. I'll go to this way first, just because I believe all this does is link back up to the other one. Yeah. Got some more goodies. You got some goodies if you go up on that one. I think it's nuclear ammo. Now, this is interesting, because this leads into a little self-contained area over here. Now, you got some more good stuff like the crossbow, but that's not everything. Um, if you go to this, you get the submachine gun. And you might be thinking, what else is there besides, you know, traitors dying? Well, let me go back to that little corridor from earlier in the water area. If you go through that, as you just saw, you can transport yourself back up here. So while it's technically feasible still to actually play that map in regular Half-Life since even without the barnacle, you do have the bouncy pads and, like, the long jump to get you around, um, JK Body, uh, which is the bot, particular bot I use for the Half-Life videos, uh, in Half-Life Deathmatch by itself, uh, has some issues, so we'll, today we'll be just looking at this map in Opposing Force. Which, you know, I was probably going to tell you anyway just to play it in Opposing Force because, you know, it was designed for it, but, you know. I'm a weirdo like that. Uh, not that there's necessarily anything wrong with that, but yeah. 
At least with the boss, he's gonna be spending a lot of time doing this. You know, the thing is, too, usually that the, this water texture here is reserved for the healing water. Like, if you've ever played the uh, single-player game, and, like, you get to the Zen levels, you'll find that, you know, if you step in the little water portals, they like, heal you. Uh, not here, though. Uh, stylistic choice, though. I will forgive. <laughs> Attaching to like you know biological material, and I know it's like no, it's not like it's just multiplayer mode, so it doesn't matter. How is it be grabbing onto the robot skins though? Those are not biological. They're not cells from Dragon Ball. Goodness gracious, where's my consistency at? I'm getting out of here. You know, in universe, what the hell is the point of this little facility? Again, I should be questioning it because this is built for fun more than anything. But yeah, this just seems like a complete anomaly. Well, more so, remember, I brought it up already in uh, the disposal video that all the opposing force maps, like in Deathmatch, were designed by like a bunch of different people, not just within Gearbox or Valve. They were contracted, like a bunch of people to make these maps. But see, the thing is, also, did that not explode? I'm confused. Anyway. No. Does that not explode because of the water? Or... Ah, it sure as hell exploded now. Anyway, see, the thing about the original set of Half-Life for, like, you know, like deathmatch maps is that they're, like, still kind of plausible within the, like, you know, the, like, the universe of Half-Life that they had built. Whereas, uh, once here, some of them are. But there's other ones that just don't make any sense whatsoever. Again, that's not a complaint against the map at all, just a funny little thought. Like this, what what purpose does it serve? You need to rely on the, like, you know, the Zen, like, you know, aspects of the map to even get anywhere. 
Like, you gotta use the barnacle to make good progress. They wouldn't have built it that way, would they? I don't know. I just don't know. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, Blue Meanie. Um, I think it was an idea that was probably better on paper than in execution, but, you know, it's a good little romp for what it is.